Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with y'all five lemon-inspired DIYs because I'm participating in the Fruity Summer Picnic Challenge. It is hosted by Savvy Crafts with Savannah and The Crafty Quinn. I will link both of those channels in my description box below. And there is a playlist that goes along with this. So I will also have that linked in the description box below. All right, y'all, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Do y'all remember that commercial? It was like um, Vandekamp's beans or something. And then he would say, roll that beautiful bean footage. So let's get into the crafts. I'm gonna start off by giving these little Scrabble letter squares two coats of Rust-Oleum's chalked Ultramat paint in the color linen white. You will notice that there's a tray in the frame. This has nothing to do with this project. It's just more of a sneak peek, if you will, of what's to come later on in the video. Now I'm gluing these two tower tumbling blocks together, jungle blocks, whatever you wanna call them. Those are gonna be my base for this little sign that I'm making. Now I'm taking those Scrabble letter squares, coloring them in with a black paint pen. And for the letter O, I'm spelling out lemon if you haven't guessed, for the letter O, I'm making it look like a lemon. And then I mess up. And I have to repaint and do it again. But it turns out just fine. Now I'm just gluing those to that base that I made, spelling out the word lemon, and I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm using Anita's all-purpose acrylic craft paint in the color Sunshine Yellow for this project. It is a mini rolling pin and the handles are going to be white and the main part of the rolling pin, I'm not really sure what you call it, is going to be the yellow color. So I'm using my heat gun, which I'll link in the description box below to kind of help in the process of drying. Now I'm attempting to apply some vinyl to it. I'll admit this was not easy. For one thing, the letters were a little bit delicate, but for another thing, the surface, the vinyl just did not seem to want to adhere to the surface. It was a little bit frustrating because the whole thing was going to say, hello summer, it was going to be super cute, but I think it still turned out fine. It just wasn't the way I originally envisioned it. Now I'm going to be using some buffalo check ribbon and I'm adding a little bow to the left side of it. I think it looked cute when I was done, but it just needed a little bit more. Oh, hello, Captain. Hi, thanks for joining us today. So I added about, oh, now Captain moved my camera. That's okay. I decided to wrap the ribbon all the way around and then just re-add the bow on top. And I think it turned out super cute. Y'all, I used Anita's all-purpose acrylic craft paint, but this time in the color citrus yellow, and y'all, it's bright. It's a little too bright for me. You know, the future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. This paint's so bright, I gotta wear shades for it. Yeah, it, it's a little too bright. I'm gonna repaint it in a second, but as you'll notice, I've, I've given it some good coats, and I've left one white because I wanted a stack book look. Tried to add another vinyl cut out to it and it just was not adhering at all. Just not at all. So anyway, I decided to paint them the lighter color, that sunshine yellow color, and I'm just gonna make a stacked book look. Um, speeding it up with drying time with my heat gun. And of course, Captain has to join me because there's ribbon involved and he must get the ribbon. So I'm just trying to figure out how to wrap up the books, and then I'm gonna tie a bow and stick a bow on top. Y'all may have seen these houses with these flowers on top at Dollar Tree. I got these a while ago, and I had them in my stash. So I took off the flowers, that was a bit of a thing. Then I painted this white for no reason at all because I was gonna be covering it with this craft paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I just outlined it and then I cut it out 
and I'm gonna use a glue gun. I don't really use Mod Podge that much, but I'm gonna use a glue, not glue gun, glue stick. I'm gonna use a glue stick to adhere it to the wood house. So, looks pretty cute. Then I'm gonna take a sanding paper to kind of get those edges off because it overlapped just a little bit and kind of give it a little bit of uh, a weathered look, if you will. I was going to add twine to it, but before I did, I wanted to decorate the back because sometimes I'm trying to reuse the projects without necessarily dismantling all of them. So I added some craft paper to the back, sanded it again. Now I'm gonna add the twine and just wrapping it around a couple times, I'm gonna add a jute bow to the front with Captain's help, of course, and he's such a good helper. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate you. Y'all, I got a Cricut Explore Air 2 for Mother's Day slash my birthday. My birthday's at the end of the month, so happy birthday to me. I celebrate all month long. Anyway, I got a Cricut, and so I'm using it for this video because I'm just so excited to have it. I'm trying to save on the transfer tape and so you'll see me kind of instead of just using the whole transfer tape and just covering the whole thing trying to cut it out trying to save it and not waste it as much but really it would have saved me more time and energy if I just used the whole sheet. Anyway so I'm cutting it out and trying to get ready to adhere it to the tray. But first, I gotta paint it with the Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen White. I got this tray from a friend. They were actually gonna toss it. It was at an estate sale. They were gonna just like toss it in the trash. And I was like, whoa, whoa, hold your horses. I can use that for a project. So that's why I have it here. Now I'm gonna try to set this vinyl down. And this part went easier but you still have to really burnish it down. And my vinyl wasn't sticking as, as well as I would have thought or hoped. And then when you're peeling off the transfer tape, it kind of leaves a little bit of a residue on my vinyl. I'm not sure if I'm using the wrong vinyl slash transfer tape. I don't know. I bought it from my, it's not Cricut vinyl or transfer tape. I bought it from Hobby Lobby though. It's the other brand that they carry. Now Captain's here to help me again because I'm using jute twine and of course he's obsessed with anything string related. I'm just gonna be wrapping these little handles with the jute twine, kind of giving it a, just a little bit different look. I've noticed this on a couple of videos. I think this turned out so good, you guys. I love the jute twine on the handles. I just love how it all turned out and I love using my Cricut. As you can see, some of the residue from the jute twine did get on my vinyl, again, because it's sticky, but overall, I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up because that really helps to support my channel. And don't forget, in the description box, I'm gonna list the playlist so that you can watch all the other videos that were included in this fruity summer picnic challenge. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.